Hello, welcome to lesson 47, Anonymous Methods in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Anonymous Methods. Before jumping into Anonymous Methods, I would like to strongly recommend you to watch my previous session on Delegates, that is lesson number 29, before jumping into Anonymous Methods. Now, what I'll do is, before understanding Anonymous Methods, we have to understand what Delegate is. So, I'll just show you a quick, quick demo, how to create a Delegate then we'll jump into anonymous methods. How do I de create a delegate? Delegate keyword and the return type is void and my delegate name is operation. And this delegate takes integer as parameter and the variable name is num. Okay. Now I'll come to my main program. I'll create a method. The method name is double. And this, say, this takes integer as parameter and what this method is going to do? It's met this method is going to print a 2 cross 2 that is 4 on the console screen. How do I do it? I'll make use of uh, placeholder to do that job. Like 0 uh, cross 2 equals the first placeholder. Then I have to come here and pass the variable num and what my second variable I have to do second placeholder has to get it has to get the product of product of num cross 2 so I am multiplying with that too ok this works fine now my next job is once I am done with my method and once I am done with my delegate keep in mind the first point when you are creating a delegate and, and, and that delegate instance is going to point a method the first point is the signature of the method which the delegate is going to invoke should match with the signature of the delegate. Yes, obviously you can observe here the delegate signature and the method signature as matching. The signature in the sense it includes the return type, void type and here also void type and the parameter here one parameter and here also one parameter both are of type integer. Now how do I invoke this method using a delegate instance? It's very simple. I'll create a instance of the delegate like OR then I'll just assign that method. How do, how do I assign? I'll just call the method name. That's it. Then next step is processing. For this delegate instance, I'm going to pass a value. I'll pass 2. And my objective is I want to get it on the console screen like 2 cross 2 is 4. And that's what this program does. And obviously, once the build has completed, we can observe on the console screen it prints 2 cross 2. And this is how you will invoke a method using a delegate and this is what the output expected we got it but keep in mind when you look when you look into this piece of code or uh, you look this program the complicated thing is you have to inv you have to invoke a delegate then you have to invoke a method then you have to build a method and write the logic here then again create an instance of a delegate then pass the value then it's going to then it's, then this program is going to work but this is this is this causes more pain to the programmer or the developer so Microsoft uh, keeps updating uh, its things every day so uh, it has done with the delegates also what it has done is it, instead of uh, creating a delegate then creating a method then calling then assigning that method to the delegate instance and then calling the method instead of doing these things what it has done is it has given us a special uh, power called anonymous method before coding into anonymous methods we'll understand what anonymous methods is first so we'll jump into visual Stu uh, power pres presentation and here you can observe what is anonymous method anonymous method is a method without a name keep in mind it's very funny anonymous method is a method without a name and you might be wondered how can method exist without a method name so that's a, that is the specialty of anonymous method and introduces and this part and this part anonymous method was introduced in C sharp 2.0 feature and it's very powerful feature and they provided us what did Microsoft provide? They provide us a way of uh, creating delegate instances without having to write a separate method. And we'll understand this sentence when we code it. Now, our objective is to understand what is an anonymous method and what is the workload reduced uh, with the anonymous method for a delegates. Now, we'll jump back into presentation uh, Visual Studio and here we'll start coding. Now, you can observe here we in we initialize the delegate and pass the parameter and then we created a method which matches exact the same signature of the delegate and then we created the instance of the delegate and assigned this method to the delegate such that our delegate is going to invoke this double method and we executed by passing the value now how does anonymous methods reduce this load of work it's very simple now 
instead of uh, creating a method and naming this method and uh, writing the logic here what anonymous method tells you is uh, instead of passing double here I would like to call the delegate keyword itself the delegate sorry the delegate keyword and this delegate is going to take a parameter as the delegate observe here whatever the parameter is going to take here the same parameter is also going to take here and the special thing is where we have to write the logic I have to open the double curly braces and I'll cut this logic and I'll paste here and now we can observe here right and this method is no of use now I can get rid of this method and I'll just remove it and this is what the power of anonymous methods you can observe here this from year to year this exactly look like a method now what I'll do is I'll just elaborate it or expand it you can observe here now you can observe here it similarly looks like a method this part but the thing is it is not having a name that's all now how do I how did I do that it's very simple I just uh, instead of assigning a method name here I just call the delegate keyword and the same parameter here and I wrote my logic within these two curly braces this is what the power of anonymous methods you can observe how many lines of code it reduced and that's what the anonymous method helps us in this manner now what I'll do is I'll just go and run this program let us see whether this part of program is going to provide the same output as it provided early as obviously it has to provide and it has done you can observe here the 2 cross 2 is 4 and this is what the power of uh, anonymous method and we'll glance at once what anonymous method does Microsoft tells us that anonymous methods allows to do <coughs> allow, allows to do was be able to write uh, this delegate method these expressions in the single line it tells us that anonymous method tells us that uh, we can write uh, the logic uh, within this in a single line expression and that's what the anonymous method did uh, which is really a, a good concept and it's worth now to it's worth to learn this concept and this is what the anonymous method is and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ang Pro training below